everyone and welcome to our latest resurrection tale. We're still on the Emmaus Road in Luke 24 with Cleopas and his companion and the stranger we know to be Jesus. And they've just invited Jesus into the house and prepared a meal for him. And showing hospitality, they ask Jesus to say the prayer over the meal. He'd already been teaching them about the scriptures. Clearly, he was a man of God who knew about God and the scriptures. And the text says he took bread, gave thanks, broke it and gave it to them. He took bread, gave thanks, broke it and gave it to them. And if you read Luke's account of the Last Supper, exactly the same thing happens. If you read Paul's account in 1 Corinthians, exactly the same thing happens. If you look at our Holy Communion service in the Anglican Church, and indeed in most churches, exactly the same thing happens. We take bread, we give thanks, we break it, and we give it. Jesus, of course, goes on with the words, This is my body which is given for you on that occasion in the Last Supper. This bread is my body. Jesus is the bread of life. He was, if you like, taken by men intent on evil in the Garden of Gethsemane and in the trial. There is a sense in which he gave thanks in that same garden and on the cross. But it wasn't an ordinary kind of thanksgiving. It was a giving of himself to the Father in sacrifice. And we know, of course, that he was broken. He was broken as a human being. And although his bones were not broken, the spear was thrust in his side. The nails were in his hands and feet. And then finally, he was given to them. At this point on the Emmaus Road, they don't realise he's been given back. But physically, there is new life. He is the one who is given new life. And this is why the Holy Communion is so important to us. The breaking of bread, as is often called. This is commanded by Jesus that we do this in remembrance of him. We do it to remember him. And he does exactly this in Emmaus, in this simple home. He takes the bread, he gives thanks over it, he breaks it, and he gave it to those disciples. And in this, he was there. And in this, he promises to be with us now, as we receive bread and wine from him. But he is the one who himself was taken, gave thanks, was broken, died for us, and then gave back to us a new spiritual life. Let us pray. Father God, help us as we receive bread and wine to know the Jesus who himself took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to us. Amen.